Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and today we're going to make a card. I was asked why do I make cards as well as work on junk journals. Well, uh, number one, I sent out quite a few cards uh, as a ministry, and um, I also adapt these cards to um, inserts for my journals. For instance, this is an offset gate card, and it could be changed in size and made a little smaller, and it would fit perfectly into a pocket. Or you could leave it the same size it is now and insert it into your um, uh, journal by gluing the back and putting it in or even having it loose. So that's what we're gonna make this time is a offset gateway card. And I'm gonna give you the measurements for uh, the card and you can adjust it if you want to make it smaller. Okay, we're gonna start with a piece of cardstock, uh, eight and a half by 11, and I've cut it in half, and I will be scoring it, and um, I will score at one and a half, and I've mislaid my scoring tool, there it is. Okay. It's going to be one and a half. And five and three fourths. Now, if you're working with real heavy cardstock, you may have to score it a couple of times. What you want to do next is take your scoring tool and press it down so it's nice and flat. And you see that we now have a gateway, a gate card. And you want to make sure it matches at the top and at the bottom. And that's what I'm doing now is kind of pressing it in where it needs to be. Okay. Now I'm going to move my scoring tool, scoring pad, and let's see what we have. This is a great card to uh, make in mass production. The first thing I'm gonna do is put a mat on. And my mats are one and three eighths by five and three eighths. So we're gonna take a black card stock and we're gonna do a little layering. I have a brand new bottle of glue so it gets all up on the brush. I'm using rubber cement. I like rubber cement when I'm doing layering because I can slide it in place and I can adjust it without taking it up because it just slides in place if I do it soon enough. Okay, that was the five and three eighths. Now we're gonna take the one and three eighths. And I got a drop of glue on the top of my cardstock. Let me see if I can get that off. Okay, it won't be seen. 
Okay, now, this could be all you have to do. In other words, you could have used designer paper and let that be it as far as your uh, paper. But I wanted a mat, so that's why I'm doing two layers. And this, that, this first layer was one and three-eighths by five and three-eighths. Now the next layer is going to be my sunflowers here. And on the front, whenever you had a pattern, do you, and you're going to do the inside, do the uh, sh small uh, piece first, and then do the second. And this is why. Because see, if you see, my flowers match up. Now, I actually, when I cut this, I didn't do it for this one. And it doesn't match exactly but it's going to be on the back and it won't be together at any time. But on the front, when it's closed, you want it to match up. The measurement on um, your designer paper is one and a fourth by five and a fourth. The small piece. You see, I've got a mat here. And the large piece is two and a half by five and a fourth. So the small piece is one and a fourth by five and a fourth. The larger piece is two and a half by five and a fourth. And this is all you really need to do on the front, except you need to have a closure. Now, what I have in mind here, we will see if it works. I have a circle out of black cardstock. And then I have a circle out of my designer paper. And I'm gonna pull the circle off. And if you'll notice, it's a sticker. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute. And that's pretty close to the center. Now, when you glue this on, you want to decide where you want it, whether you want it at the top, in the middle, or where. And I think this one I'm gonna have in the middle. But if you would notice, you want only this part to glue down because you want to be able to open it up. So, we're gonna put not quite half, with glue. And it's the same, my glue is flowing very well because it's a brand new jar. And I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna take a little bit. we go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and wipe some of the glue off. And that's my card. Now if you want to you can open it up 
and do the very same thing to the inside. The very same measurements for both the mat and the designer paper. Now, if you notice, these are not next to each other. The fact that they weren't cut every other one, small and large, doesn't really show up because you've got them separate. But on the front, they show up because you wanted to match up. Okay, so let's glue these down. an inch um, border there. Okay, we have one side. Now, I don't usually, when I make my cards, I don't usually put my sentiment in it unless I'm getting ready to send it off because I'm not sure how or what kind of card I want this to be. It could be a sympathy, it could be a get well. Um, it could even be a happy birthday. So what I'm gonna do now is leave the middle blank and add it later. I'll probably put a Bible verse in the middle of this one. I think that would be appropriate. Okay. I need to slide my whole mat over just a little bit. Okay, and there's my inside. And there's the outside. A very pretty card. Let's see. All right, now, let's see what else we can do. I'm gonna change the colors this time. And as I say, what you can do is have a uh, time of doing nothing but cutting and cut you a bunch of pieces of cardstock that are half size, eight and a half by five and a half, and cut you a bunch of um, strips, and then just sit down at another uh, session and decorate. Again, I'm going to get out my scoring tool. We'll put this over, over here. Again, I'll score it one and a half. And at five and three fourths. Making the edges sharp.
Okay, this time I'm going to use some different colors. And by the way, you don't have to do the inside. It's up to you. Just how about I did this side first? I wanted to point out you can have it open up this way, but I prefer it this way. I'm getting a little too much on my brush. I think what I'm gonna do after uh, I finish these, I'm gonna pour part of my glue into one of my empty jars so it's not quite so full. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, another thing you want to watch is make sure your design is right side up. Okay, now, <clears throat> excuse me, another thing you want to watch is if you have the glasses going up this way on the outside, you need to have them going the same direction on the inside. And here is another one. Now, this could have been uh, with the glasses and all a Happy New Year's card, but I'm going to make it a birthday card. And uh, what I'm going to do is, let's see, I have a, some black that I cut for another card. I'm going to just cut this and put it on 
Let's see what we have here. Let's see if we want, <coughs> excuse me, to cut the corners. Let's see how this will look. I'm not sure if it will look good with that label or not. This label, <coughs> excuse me, this label was plain and I just wrote happy birthday so it would suit my needs. And I think that's gonna look all right. I'm gonna put some glue on this. And put it down like this in the middle. Okay, now, after these dry completely, I'll take my bone folder and I'll go down and press these edges really, really good. Well, uh, this is kind of wet now. And yeah. there we go. And here's the other one we made. And here's the one I already had made previously. Three different personalities. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please come back and see me and see what I have in store for you for next time. And don't forget, please subscribe. Bye.